Monaco makes a welcome return to F1 this year, with the Principality turning on its trademark glamour. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our new home on unbeaten.com. Following the global explosion of the COVID-19 pandemic in March 2020, Formula One did well to not just safeguard the sport, but safely plan and deliver 17 races in just 23 weeks. But while that calendar lacked street races, this weekend sees the sport return, not just to the road, but arguably the world's greatest road course, Monaco, for the first time since 2019. That's not to say the Principality hasn't seen any action in that time, with Monte Carlo echoing to the sound of its local hero, Charles Leclerc, in a Ferrari road car last year. With the Monegasque lapping the track in a Ferrari SF90 Stradale, as star driver of Le Grand Rendezvous, French director Claude Lelouch's glamorous reboot of his 1976 cult classic short film. Unfortunately, uh, the Grand Prix has been cancelled, but we did our own uh, race here, and it was great to be back and to have the opportunity to be back in behind the steering wheel. I definitely miss that feeling. And this year, with Monaco on the mend, the barriers have gone up, and both the historic and Formula E races have been run. But F1 is forever the focus on the Côte d'Azur, and all the greats have thread the barriers at warp speed to win there. Men like Sir Jackie Stewart, Mr. Monaco Graham Hill, who won the race five times, and arguably the greatest of all time, Ayrton Senna, who took victory there a record six times, five straight for McLaren from 1989. Other winners include Michael Schumacher with five, Alain Prost on four, Sir Sterling Moss, Stewart, Nico Rosberg, and Sir Lewis Hamilton on three with the Brit the last Monaco winner in 2019. And while the Silver Arrows are firmly on form, anything can happen in Monaco, where the driver makes the difference. The most important thing is that you have to learn to walk before you run. And what I mean by that is you have to take it quite easy, you have to build up to the pace. So by the time you get to Q3, second run, that's the time when you're at 100% or just over 100%. Of course, one lapse in concentration, and a driver can be on the way to the scene of an accident, of which there's been countless examples. And turn one, Sand Devot, a known car magnet. But Red Bull Racing's Max Verstappen won't be wanting to end up there, as he did in 2015 with Toro Rosso, with a current 14-point deficit to title rival Hamilton in the standings. The toughest street track on the calendar, the three-kilometer Monaco circuit features 19 turns with seven left and 12 right, and a top speed of just 295 kilometers per hour. Verstappen set the lap record for Red Bull in 2018, while there's just one DRS activation zone along the main straight, with the DRS detection point located at turn 17 before La Rascasse. Tight, twisty, and historic. It's high time for F1 to return to Monte Carlo for the Monaco Grand Prix. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.